There we go. Coach, welcome back up to the booth. Thank you. Uh, nice to see you up here. 12 in a row for the guys. Um, set, ties the program record in consecutive wins and um, did it in a great way today. Great offensive play on uh, both games. So if you want to start with that. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's really hard to, to win 12 games in this conference. Uh, this day and age with, with some of these teams that are really starting to compete and, and uh, really starting to get better. So the conference is the best it's ever been. And to win 12 against this kind of competition is, is some kind of accomplishment for our guys. And, um, you know, it's great coming back to Florida. We were 10 and 9. You know, we weren't feeling great about where we were. And then, um, you know, all of a sudden we get this momentum and they, you know, hitting came around and we got some guys healthy uh, who were injured. And uh, so it's really giving us a good boost. And you guys were able to play, uh, you know, a couple different players out there uh, in the later innings today. You see some guys out of the bullpen, some uh, that we usually wouldn't see. And uh, so, how was it to maybe insert those guys, maybe keep them a little fresh just in case uh, something happens on the stretch? Well, it's definitely huge, and, and the biggest thing with that is some of those guys are going to be the future of this program, especially those freshman pitchers, and uh, some of them we think really highly of. So it's nice to get them out there, get them uh, exposure, get them innings, and then you know see how they do, and we'll, we'll keep you know keep them resting those guys. No, uh, we'll go back to the to the main guys. Um, Dan Kemp had himself a fine day today, had a home run. Zach, a home run as well. But uh, one of the main guys, John Rosino in the second game, just outstanding. And um, uh, since he's been reinserted in the lineup, you guys have gone on this streak. So I guess if you want to talk about him and the impact he makes in the lineup. Absolutely. Uh, he, he can hurt you in so many ways. He's got speed. He's got power. He's got bad speed. He hits for contact. He's a good defender. He's you know, he's going to be one of those special players, and we knew he was going to be like that, so it was really, it really did hurt us not to have him in there, especially losing that speed factor. Um, you know, two-strike approach with him has been incredible. Uh, it's something that he's worked hard on. Uh, he's hitting the ball any pitch. He's hitting curves. He's hitting fastballs. I mean, there, there was nothing that was getting him out today, and he was a really pesky hitter. It was a really good job by him. Now you guys saw the New Hampshire here on Wednesday, another big game, huge conference game, and... Um, uh, I assume Trevor Graham is going to be going on Wednesday. What are you looking at of him on Wednesday and, uh, you know, out of the Penman as a whole? You know, you know, Trevor, we just want to have, have a good mix. When he has a good mix, he's, you know, everything's, everything's great. Um, you know, the, the Southern New Hampshire is always a good team. You know, we know Scotty well. We know the whole coaching staff. We know a lot of their players. And uh, they're a great team. They're always competitive with us. And, and we know it's usually a battle. It's usually a long, drawn-out battle. So. Uh, we're preparing for that, and we know that it's going to be one of those games, so it'll be fun. Exactly. Coach Mike Chambers, thank you for joining us here. We'll see you on Wednesday. All right, thank you.